Kiflam guys. Someone must have seen an Englishman. <laughs> there are plenty of complex mysteries in the game. But there's one that is gravely overlooked by players. And that's the mystery surrounding the death of a young boy in Rhodes. I see a strange man in a tall hat. To get introduced to this secret, let's first head over here and listen to the camper's story. Howdy. It's all right. Take what you need. Oh yeah? You know what I'm talking about, right? And I don't mean the normal kind of sadness in them southern towns. You see the color of my skin? I understand the difference well enough. Something else. I talked to a few folks, and it turns out something real bad did transpire. Uh -huh. That's right. You dig beneath the surface a bit. Seems an innocent got killed, and the whole place has the blood on their hands. Now, I didn't get into no details, and they don't like talking about it, but it's quite a thing. Like when you walk into an empty room and immediately either feel laughter or tears. Well now. My mama left me for dead as a child, and I've been on my own ever since. Maybe that gives me a different eye for things. I don't hold any pain, not no more. But I'm sure she carried that around, just like them people of Rhodes carries theirs. The camper lets us know that the whole town of Rhodes killed an innocent young man. He further emphasizes that it wasn't a crime based on race, but something else. The fact is that the people of Rhodes still feel shame and guilt over it. So what exactly happened, and who was the boy? Let's listen to what people of Rhodes themselves have to say. Good evening, sir. Hey, mister. Too many folks in Rhodes still bringing up that, that thing. You know what I'm talking about. Been thinking a lot about that boy. Can't seem to get him out of my head. Folk in town whispering about that boy, whoever the hell he is. Something shameful, all right? I wish people stopped talking about what happened to that boy. It's done now. I don't feel no guilt on the issue. Still having nightmares about, you know, that youngin' who died a few years back. Got the help talking about that boy you got killed in Rhodes. Seems to have them all shook up. More talk about that boy. Don't know why we can't put it behind us. People are still whispering about that boy. <sighs> what happened to the old days? Block it out and move on. We can find out the boy's name from a newspaper article. In need of a good story? Thanks. Have a great day. Roads. We don't want to miss this. Questions once again. Young man stoned to death. The shocking tragedy that befell William Bowles is once again in front of the authorities. At the request of a woman in Rhodes, a petition to authorities asks to investigate the circumstances surrounding the death by stoning of her nephew, William Bowles. While many variations exist on the events that transpired that day, some in the community say that William was slow of learning and had committed an act that warranted his death by an angry mob. The stoning created tremendous excitement, and those that gathered refused to testify or discuss the incident to the great distress of friends and family. The little boy's grave is located at the Rhodes Cemetery. William Bowles 
Reynolds was stoned to death by the townsfolk in 1896 for the crime he did not commit. The headstone reads, May you and he have mercy upon us. The fact that we can find fresh flowers here shows us that people still feel guilty about William's death. Who was William Bowles and what crime did he commit? That's never mentioned in the game. If you have any thoughts or ideas, be sure to let me know in the comments. In my opinion, William Bowles is inspired by George Junius Stinney Jr. George was falsely accused of killing two girls. His trial lasted less than three hours and it took the jury 10 minutes to convict him. George was executed just 83 days after the crime and became the youngest person in modern times to be put to death. Stinney's case has been an inspiration to many books and movies, which may include Red Dead Redemption 2 as well. Either way, it's difficult to look at the town of Rhodes in the same way again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay legendary and stay subscribed. Kiflam!